listen to what Brett Weinstein says about the scary consequences of a young rather soon going to be faced with a world that has billions of people who do not have the skills to leverage AI. Some of them will be necessary for a time going to need plumbers. But this is also not a long-term solution because not only are there not enough of those jobs, but of course we have humanoid robots that once imbued with AI capacity will also be able to take, you know, they'll mm. be able to crawl under your house into the crawl space and fix your plumbing. So what typically happens when you have a massive economic contraction that arises from the fact that a huge number of people are out of work is that the elites start looking at those people and thinking, well, we don't really need them anyway. And so the idea that this AI disruption doesn't lead us to some very human catastrophe, I think, is overly optimistic and that we need to start preparing right now. What are the rights of a person who has had whatever it is that they've invested in completely erased from the list of needs? Is that person responsible for not having anticipated AI coming? And is it their problem that they are now starving and they're being eyed by others as, you know, a useless eater? I don't think so.